The guy you see right now is the Brazilian Roberto Carlos. And this is what he did in 1997 against France. Oh, it had been in an accuracy. Watch this. Starts way, way, way wide of the goal. That's two, three yard wide. And just clips the inside of the post. That is quite a magnificent free kick. I'm not that is just insane by Roberto Carlos. This is how Roberto Carlos made that insane goal. So basically, when he kicked the ball, he spun the ball around its axis. When it was moving in the air, half of this, like, half of this side of the ball, it was moving in the opposite direction. The spin was moving in the opposite direction of the airflow. Therefore, the pressure was more in this area. But in this area, the spin is the same as the airflow. Therefore, the pressure is lower. Normally, when this guy kicked the ball, it should actually go in this direction. Because of this pressure difference, the ball actually curves and it actually goes inside the goal net. This is known as the Magnus effect. It was first observed by Isaac Newton when he was playing tennis. And you can also call this as a banana kick in football. And this is how Roberto Carlos made that insane goal.